Rumble has an issue. And this has nothing to do with stuff like music or graphics. The game is beautiful and is enough to make a grown man cry. I mean, just listen to this environment. The world almost feels alive in a strange way, which I really can't explain. The idea to be able to earthbend in a game, let alone VR, is probably something that was inevitable. And the guys at Buckethead just, just made it work. There's just something about spawning in a boulder and just punching it at Mach 5 that's just, that's just nice. But we do really have to talk about something here, and it all has to do with the actual gameplay. Rumble's biggest current issue is that there's just not enough players. Not a lot of people have VR at the moment, let alone a beefy gaming PC that can handle the game. Because yeah, the game isn't out on Quest. Seriously, if I get one more question if this game is on Quest, I, I'm, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something I'm gonna regret, and every single one of you is gonna be responsible for that. But yeah, I talked with the devs and asked them some more questions about Quest ports and stuff like that. What Tom from the dev team said is that they're actively looking into getting it to work on Quest. Technically, they've already made it work, but it was unplayable and not very fun. Now, this doesn't mean that they're confirming that the game will be on Quest, but they are really looking into it and they want to make it happen. They also mentioned that if it does work on Quest, it's gonna be the exact same game. So it's not gonna be a port, but the PC version will be the same version as the Quest version. So it, it would look different, but it would essentially be the same game to ensure that both versions get the same content. Uh, there's cross-platform support so players can play together, which is, which is of course very, very, very important. One of the big things right now is there's, there's not a lot of players yet. If you have a friend with a quest and you're on PC VR and you, you're, you're rocking a rift or something, you know, if, if it's cross-platform, you can just play together. That's just what everyone wants. And you know, he's totally right. Having quest support is probably the biggest thing that people want right now. But quest supports aside, let's talk about something else. Difficult games is something that everybody enjoys. Having a challenge in a game is probably one of the best things a game can have. Rumble is no exception. Actually learning the difficult moves and mastering them feels really good. And the way you unlock new moves is also very good. You actually unlock more, the better you get. But I think that the moveset you get at White Belt, which is Pillar, Shred, and Disc, isn't the best and does not make the game very fun. If you have Rumble, try it out. Try using only those three things. You'll quickly realize that the game isn't as exciting anymore. So yeah, in my opinion, uh, it's probably best if they update the White Belt moveset. But yeah, that's my opinion and they don't have to do anything with that, of course. I know I sound a little bit negative in this video, so let's talk about something that we can really look forward to. So yeah, voice chat has basically been confirmed, and I truly believe that this will make the game much more fun to play. As you undoubtedly know, we're currently working on voice chat, and we're hoping we're hoping that this will allow for more of that uh, training between players, even in games. It can be kind of tough to communicate exactly what to do to newer players, but adding voice chat would surely help. So yeah, this is really something to look forward to, and I'm really, really excited to talk to y'all in-game. But yeah, the game is still in early access, so these kind of updates really make sense. If you ever want to find extra players, I can highly recommend you joining their Discord. I of course left a link in the description if you want to join. There's a lot of active people there daily, helping each other out, learning how to play, setting up matches. If you're having trouble playing the game or finding an opponent, up in the Discord or even on the Steam forums. So there's plenty of activity there and it should be no problem. We're also, uh, us devs are active on there as well. So if you have a question for us specifically, you know, come, uh, come join, come join, it's fun. Yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching this short video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.